Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the simple stresses and the strain. And in that what are the different types of the problem. The first type 1 that is the bar on which the load P it is acting. These are the very simple and the basic type. This we can calculate by the formula that is sigma that is the stress is equal to force acting on this component divided by the cross sectional area which it is resisting the deformation. So, here the deformation that occurs that resisting area. This is very basic and the first type. Now, type 2 even that we can call it as a principle of the superposition. When we say when a body is subjected to the number of forces acting on that. In such cases what we will do? We will split up their effect on each component. So, we will separately calculate what are the forces on this and what are the different forces acting on the second component and then we will find out the deformation of the each separate component and at the end the body each individual body is deformation that we will add. So, this is what we can call it as a principle of the superposition. Now, see this is one body, two bodies that are connected at the left hand side the 60 kilo newton force in between 20 kilo newton and at the right hand side the 40 kilo newton forces are acting on that. So, as the both the ends are free, so we can start the free body diagram either from the left hand side or from the right hand side. So, first we will consider the body first body on which the 60 kilo newton force it is acting towards the left hand side. So, for the static condition of the to, to satisfy the condition of the statics same equal and opposite force we have to add towards the right hand side. So, again we have to use the 60 kilo newton force. So, this is the free body diagram of the first body. Now, we have to calculate a free body diagram of the second. We will take and <coughs> on which if we connect the first body and the second body, the resultant force of the 20 kilo newton should act towards the right hand side. But here on the right hand side of the first body already the 60 kilo newton force that is acting. For that what we will do? See right hand side 60 kilo newton and we need the resultant of 20 kilo newton force towards the left hand side. So, what force should we apply here? So, that is the 40 kilo newton towards the left. So, if you apply 40 kilo newton 60 towards right and 40 towards left then we will get the resultant when we join the first body and the second body at that time 20 kilo newton towards the right hand side. So, this is the force on the second body at the left hand side. What force should be at right hand side for the static reason equal and the opposite force. So, that is the 40 kilo newton it should act at the right hand side. Once you calculate the forces acting on the first body and forces acting on the second body then this will convert into the basic first type by using the equation the stress is equal to load upon the area. So, you have to find out the stress induced in this and you can find out the stress induced in this or even if you want to calculate the change in length then we can use delta L is equal to P L upon A of the first body then delta L is equal to P L upon A of the second body then we can add the change in length of the first body and change in length of the second body then we will get the total change in length of this component. 